we are each free to believe what we want. And it's my view that the simplest explanation is, there is no God. No one created the universe, and no one directs our fate. This leads me to a profound realization. There is probably no heaven, and no afterlife either. We have this one life to appreciate the grand design of the universe. And for that, I am extremely grateful. You see, when, when the Lord opens your eyes, spiritually, I'm talking about, when the Lord touches you in the depths of your, of your soul, when he opens your eyes and you start talking, do not be shocked when people misunderstand you. Do not be shocked when people go against you. Do not be shocked when people persecute you. Do not be shocked when people call you names because their eyes are not opened. My beloved, it is not what you know that gives you the insight. It is what God has done for you that gives you that insight. So many people are educated, not only in the, in the, in the religious field. There are so many scientists. There are so many professors in biology, in chemistry, in physics, yet they are spiritually blind to the core after studying all their life and becoming professors in that field, absolute experts, they come back and speak the ultimate ignorance of all ignorances and say, there is no God. So is this the knowledge that you gained, my dear friend, as a scientist, as a professor? Stephen Hawkins, the number one physicist in the world, died in a wheelchair the only thing was working in his body was the vocal cords. See how the Lord is mighty. Do you see how Jesus Christ is always in control? The number one physicist in the world tried to find out how the universe came about through physics. Blind, ignorant, all his knowledge was childish at the end. What did your knowledge do for you? Placed you in a wheelchair, only vocal cords, nothing moves in his body, nothing. And he died still trying to discover through physics how this universe came about. And he said while he was living in the flesh, I will do everything in my power to find out through physics how this universe came about, I will find and discover it, my dear friend. He wrought it in the grave and he will never find out. But now I'm sure he did. Because when he crossed to the other side, he said, how blind I was, Lord, all my life. I denied your existence. But now, which is too late, I found out it is God who created the universe, not a physics formula. Blind. Speaking so childish. Mother Nature created you through a Big Bang. And I'll Big Bang you if you don't wake up to yourself with a red belt in karate, scissor, scissor cut. Oops, I've got a sore back.